Hi there RV and camper owners. Today we're going to be taking a look at GoPower's line of lithium batteries. These are available in various sizes so you can fit inside your trailer. We're showing off the Group 4D battery today, but you have to check our site to find which one's going to be best for you. Now the various sizes are likely going to have different amp hour ratings and that's going to be the capacity of the battery so you also want to pay attention to that to make sure you have the right physical size to fit in your trailer and also that you've got the amount of capacity that's going to meet your power needs we've just put this in our customer's travel trailer here and he's done this upgrade because there's a lot of benefits you get with a lithium battery over your traditional lead acid one of the biggest ones being weight, because you can see we've got this huge battery here with a large amount of capacity, but you have to lift it up into this small compartment and lithiums are significantly lighter. In addition to being lighter, you're gonna have a more consistent power output from it. They're going to give you more capacity in the same size form factor. So another battery that was a uh, lead acid that's a group 4D size here is likely gonna have less capacity than what this one is here. Lithiums are higher. They also, are going to provide you with more life cycles so they'll charge more times than a regular lead acid so there's just a whole benefit slew of benefits that you'll get by making the conversion now i do have a messed up hand here but i wanted to show how much lighter this battery is we've recently just worked with an, another manufacturer that had agm batteries and we put one in this size and that battery was close to 200 pounds i had a real hard time i had to get some assistance with me to even attempt to get this battery to move inside the box. But you can see here, even with a little bit of messed up on my hand, this battery is able to lift up. And with this one weighing close to 80 pounds, it's way lighter than what that AGM competitor was. Now lithium batteries, they are kind of a newer technology that's hitting the market for RV and campers out there. There is a bit different chemistry inside on how lithium batteries work. So it does change a few things that you need to know about lithiums versus your regular lead acid. But to help simplify the differences between the two, GoPower has installed a battery monitoring system inside the battery here. So it monitors the individual cells because lithium is a different structure inside. There are a different amount of cells inside of a lithium than there are in a regular lead acid of a similar voltage. So it uses this controller inside to ensure that it properly charges the battery and that the battery is not going to over exert itself at any point and discharge it beyond a point that would cause damage to it. So what this means is that this battery monitoring system, you can drop this battery into your trailer just like you would a regular battery and you can charge it and use it just like a regular battery and that monitor inside will ensure that you're not gonna damage it. So for example, with a lithium, if you were to discharge it too far, it could actually damage the cells inside. The battery monitoring system will disconnect the battery once the voltage has reached a certain point. And that's about 8.4 volts on this particular battery here. And what will happen then is it will disconnect itself. So if you were to leave a light on, it would just turn it off. It would keep its battery, the cells inside disconnected until you were to hook up a charger to bring it back up. And that would ensure that these cells aren't going to go beyond a point that would cause them to lower the life expectancy of the battery. The internal battery monitoring system also works when you do go to charge that battery back up. So even if you didn't discharge it all the way, you're just charging it up, whether it be with a charger that you've put on, a regular charger, whether it be a lithium charger, or if you got, just got it hooked up to your truck and you're driving down the road and trickle charging it that way, the internal monitor will take the current that's going in and it will appropriately distribute it to the individual cells inside. And oftentimes your lithium batteries will charge at a significantly faster rate than your regular lead acid or AGM batteries. Most of those batteries you charge at 30 or less percent of what the capacity is for charging it up. With these, you can charge at about 50% of the capacity, which this is 250 amp hours. You can charge this one at about 100 amp hours. So not quite 50%, but still much higher, which means you're gonna be able to get this charged in a less amount of time so you can spend more time out doing what you enjoy doing and using your power. This is also useful if you are, have a solar controller. Some of the batteries you might, depending on how much solar you can harness, you might be harnessing more solar than your battery can take in and then you, that extra capacity that you would be charging is just dissipated as heat in your solar controller whereas this battery can handle a higher charge you can then harness more of that sun's power and get it in your battery at a faster rate than an AGM. 
Now, if you're interested in solar solutions, Go Power does have a whole line here of various size solar panels that'll fit on your RV regardless of the size, as well as various different solar controllers. The controllers all have appropriate strategies in them for lithium batteries, and that's important as well to ensure that whether you're storing or charging your batteries, you're doing it at the appropriate rate. Again, it does have the battery monitoring system inside, but if you can match it with a better controller, you can take benefit of that faster charge time and also slightly increase the life of your battery by charging it appropriately. Now, if you don't have a solar option, you're just looking to charge your batteries up, whether it's for placing them into storage or maybe you're just taking it out of storage, you need to charge them up for use for the season, I recommend NOCO's Genius line of battery chargers. They are all compatible with lithium batteries and that's going to ensure you get the best strategy to charge these up as fast as possible and also keep the health of the battery as best as possible as well. With lithiums you're going to have more charge cycles than you would with a regular lead acid. You're going to get about 5,000 full deep, sar deep charge life cycles with a lithium and a regular lead acid is only going to get about 25% of what a lithium is going to have. And while I recommend NOCO's battery chargers, you can just use a regular battery charger that you would use for your lead acid batteries. You do want to make sure though that there's not a desulfating setting on that charger. You don't want to use that with lithiums. That's specifically for those lead acid to keep those batteries topped up at 100% to keep them from desulfating. With lithium batteries, if you're gonna be storing them and stuff, you don't store them at 100%. So you just don't wanna use that process. It can be damaging to your lithium batteries. And another huge benefit you're gonna get with a lithium battery over your regular lead acid or AGM batteries is it's gonna have a more consistent power output. As AGM and lead acid batteries discharge, their voltage drops, and you're gonna notice that with the operation of some of your components. Your slide out while, while it was fully to topped up at the beginning might have moved out very fast. If you've used a lot of the capacity of your batteries throughout the day and you go to pull it back in before you leave, it might come in really slow. With a lithium, as it discharges its capacity, its voltage does drop too, but the voltage doesn't drop nearly as much as with a lead acid or AGM battery, which means you're gonna have a more consistent power output. You'll have more amperage available throughout its entire capacity life, which means you're gonna have more consistent operation. That slide out that was kind of barely struggling to come back in with the lead acid that was almost discharged, it's gonna come in almost like normal, even when these batteries are at a lower charge. Another difference between lithium and your regular lead acid or AGM batteries is the storage charge that you want to keep them at. With your regular lead acid and AGM batteries, you want to keep them topped up near 100%, and usually you want to have some sort of trickle charge on them to help keep them from desulfating to maximize the amount of life that they have when they are stored for a season. With your lithium batteries, we actually don't want to store these at 100%. We also don't want to store them in a discharged state either, completely discharged. The ideal state for storing your lithium battery is going to be between 30 and 70%. I like to keep it pretty close to around 50 to slightly higher than 50 because even when you store them, your voltage is going to drop very slightly over a long period of time. It just gives you a little bit of headroom if you're going to be leaving it for potentially that whole season until summer comes around again. And that completes our look at GoPower's line of lithium batteries.